On this episode of Cash Canada, we're going to take you to a very unique virtual at the waterfall capital of the world. Niagara Falls might be the most visited waterfalls in North America, but the true waterfall capital of the world lies 75 kilometers to the west, in the city of Hamilton. Situated in the heart of the most highly industrialized region of the country, Hamilton is also a place of great natural beauty. It is home to more than 100 waterfalls, one of the highest in any urban area of its size. This virtual reward takes advantage of these natural wonders to create an adventure for us by exploring a minimum of five of the 12 suggested waterfalls in the region. Blake was eager to go. He loves to explore and cherishes every moment he gets to go geocaching with us. Our first stop was Tews Falls, a 41 meter ribbon waterfall, the tallest of all the waterfall in Hamilton. An interesting fact is that it's only just a few meters shorter than Niagara Falls. Can't forget our photo. And you must have your name in it. That's very important. Next up, Webster Falls. The Niagara Escarpment, which we're walking along, helps create the environment for all the waterfalls for this area. And the Niagara Escarpment is part of the United Nations UNESCO World Heritage Biosphere. The Niagara Escarpment Biosphere Reserve in Ontario stretches 725 kilometers from Lake Ontario to the tip of the Bruce Peninsula. The Biosphere Reserve includes the greatest topographic variability in southern Ontario, with habitats ranging over more than 430 meters in elevations and including Great Lakes coastlines, cliff edges, talus slopes, wetlands, woodlands, limestone alvar pavements, oak savannas, conifer swamps, and many others. Blake was eager to get to the next fall. Webster's Falls is a 22 meter high classical curtain plunge waterfall. In the past, the falls have been known by various names, such as Dr. Hamilton's Falls, Spencer Falls, Hart Falls, Fisher Falls, and Flamborough Falls. A large stone flour mill once stood along the creek above the falls, and one of the first hydroelectric generators of Ontario was installed at the base of the falls. This is unique because of its rating. It's a four and a half three. Oh. And there are only two, two? four and a half three virtuals wow. worldwide. Thank goodness we live so close. Yes.
And of course, while we're out, we're going to check for caches in each of the locations just to see if there is one. Here's one right here in an obvious spot. Sign that up, off we go. So we're here at Borers Falls, one of the locations we chose. And we're at the top. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we're at the brink of the falls, so we're going to take a picture yeah. here. The 15 meter high Bora Falls is a ribbon style waterfall. Found it. Oh. We've been to three so far. Which was your favorite? on the Cheddar Creek Radial Trail. The Upper Princess Falls, at 6.7 meters high, is a complex cascade ribbon waterfall. It slowly steps down along the top of the escarpment before cascading a short distance. Then it travels under the walkway before it falls again, right beside the busy Highway 403. This is the final waterfall we need for this virtual. This is Sherman's Falls. A beautiful, beautiful example of a Cascade Falls coming over the escarpment. And nearby is Tiffany Falls, where I visited with Kelso, and we did breakfast at Tiffany's. There's a link over right up here. You can check that one out. That was uh, in the winter as well, and it was beautiful. Let's go get our last shot of this waterfalls and remember there are so many more to visit just in this virtual but also in the Hamilton area there are a lot more waterfalls that you can go and see that's why it's called the waterfall capital of the world Fairy or Angel Falls are the two romantic nicknames for this captivating waterfall Sherman's Falls is a 17 meter high curtain waterfall that surges from Ancaster Creek. We want to thank you for joining us on this adventure to the waterfall capital of the world. <laughs> In our own backyard. Yeah, imagine that. If you have an opportunity to come out and see it, there's so many to see and this is a really cool mm -hmm. virtual to get. You only have to get 5 of 12 and uh, I'm sure you can get more than that. We'll probably check the other ones out too. Yeah, they're well worth going to. And most of them have caches at them too, so. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. And where will geocaching take you? Take you.